It's comparison day. At least we are going to call it that for now. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Pro and the AirPods Pro. I'm going to be doing the AirPods Pro test on my iPhone 12 to make the most out of the AirPods, and I will use the Hammerhead with my Pixel 4 since it doesn't make a difference really for Razer here. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, I just wanted to remind you that we have a Twitch channel where we stream every Friday and Saturday from 8pm and to 10pm Eastern Time, so why not go ahead and drop a follow? And also don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and also make sure to check out the merch store. There's plenty of black and white sweetness to choose from up there, so go ahead and check that out. And then make sure to take a look at the podcast as well, as the podcast always goes live every Wednesday and Sunday. And with that said, enough rambling, let us get straight into the video. So firstly, let's go ahead and, and compare the build between the two of these. And they're both going to be built quite well. However, the differences are going to be quite discernible here between the two. The Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Pro have a pretty good build overall, I would say. The case itself is made of a sturdy plastic in comparison to the original model. This was a pretty big improvement, if you ask me. It's got a USB-C port, and it is all matte textured. Both cases for both earbuds look very similar in their design, but but inside, you will find that the hammerheads are certainly larger, though they do have a nice build to them as well. It is going to be a matte black design with a touchpad on the Razer logo, and I am a big fan of this design overall. The Urbans Pro are built better in every way. The case is a bit smaller and it has this glossy white exterior, but it does feel more solid for sure, even though it has a lightning connector instead of USB-C, which is a bit of a downfall. Now the case does at least feature wireless charging, the AirPods Pro themselves still feel stronger than the Hammerheads, but they are way smaller as well, and a touch surface on the stem of both earbuds is going to be included as well, and this is where gestures are going to be used. This is also a great design and one that is very comfortable overall. So when it comes to aesthetics, I do prefer the Razer Hammerhead TW Pros. Black is just the way I tend to roll when it comes to tech, but when it comes to overall build quality, holding these in hand makes it immediately apparent that the AirPods Pro are simply built better from the case to the butt. And now when it comes to comfort, these are both competing pretty hard here. They were both incredibly comfortable, so it was really tough to pick a winner here, but I had to do it anyway. And the Razer Hammerhead TW Pros are very comfortable and sit in my ears just fine. The standard ear tips are the ones that fit me the best, I want to say, but they also include some foam ear tips that are supposed to help with making the most out of the TH certification. I've never liked the fit of foam ear tips though, so I actually stuck with the stock ones or the rubber ones per se, and I literally have no complaints when it comes to the comfort itself. And all this pretty much applies to the AirPods Pro as well, which is great, but these feel even lighter than the Hammerheads, so they do have that advantage going for them. I can also wear these very easily all day without issues. Do you see my dilemma here? <laughs> It is a pretty tough choice, so here is how I ended up making my decision. When it comes to using each one and interacting with the gestures per se, Razer has the more comfortable approach here. There's just a surface for you to tap to trigger any and all of your gestures that don't really disrupt the positioning of your earbuds at all and it just helps with keeping them in place, if anything. However, when it comes to the AirPods Pro, I have to squeeze the stem in order to trigger any gesture, which means that I end up displaying them just a little bit at least and that's just kind of annoying since I end up taking them out when I'm not intending to or at the very least just loosening just loosening them from my ears. So the Hammerheads True Wireless Pro win the comfort contest due to them being equally as comfortable to me but these just have a more comfortable and seamless gesture control experience. I never really liked the way that gestures worked on the AirPods Pro anyway and they're going to be just serviceable in my opinion. Now let's go on and talk about features. AirPods Pro have active noise cancer canceling, ambient mode, touch gestures on the stem of the earbuds, sweat resistance, wireless charging on the case, and a lightning port for charging. There's also spatial audio support. More on that a little later. Now, when it comes to features for the Razer Hammerhead TW Pros, these are going to feature active noise canceling, ambient mode, low latency mode for gaming and even music listening, touch gestures on the Razer logo, sweat resistance and the USB-C, 
port for charging no wireless charging on the case though. in terms of features the earpods pro win here they have more features but also more useful ones for myself at least low latency mode isn't something i necessarily care about though it does work well but since they already share so many features the earpods pro win with spatial audio being really cool and the case having wireless charging now let's talk about the actual sound quality here this wasn't such a difficult contest and i want to say that there is a winner here but i want to disclose that both of these sound very good in fact i would be very happy using either one for listening to music on a daily basis really however they are both tuned differently and offer different perks that makes one better than the other to me at least some perks from another might actually be better for you so do try to pay attention in this segment AirPods Pro have better audio separation, which means that music does sound clearer, and that goes for a lot of genres of music. If you're a fan of metal, for example, and this is just one example, then you will enjoy these more, which happens to be, actually, what I listen to the most. However, these feel a little less rich in terms of bass and the low end in general, as these feel more balanced in terms of audio overall spatial audio however is honestly a really 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 cool feature and that makes these really good whenever you do encounter music that actually supports this feature in all seriousness just the demo for this that they introduce as soon as you set up your airpods pro that was enough to sell me on the idea of just how incredible spatial audio is it's like surround sound but instead of a tiny driver per se which is really difficult to explain and needs to be experienced by yourself however I have to use this on purpose to find any use for it at all. As in, I have to specifically find music that may that takes advantage of it, otherwise it's mostly remaining unused. And the Razer Hammerhead's True Wireless Pro have more powerful bass and it's presented in a very pleasant way. So even if you're a fan of metal per se, it still doesn't get very muddy for me and sounds quite good. However, there is less audio separation and music will sound more contained or concentrated onto only the center of your ears versus it feeling more expansive. But again, these still sound very good in my opinion. However, if you're into bass heavy genres and things like that, then you're definitely going to like the Razors more than the AirPods here since the AirPods at times can come off as a little bit tinny, but this is isn't such a common occurrence these just handle bass better in my opinion and the AirPods Pro work better for most genres because they have a clearer sound and a wider sound stage but sometimes the music can sound a little bit tinny because of the more balanced sound signature the Razer Hammerheads True Wireless Pro have a more colorful sound to them and they do sound very very good if you ask me however for the sake of immersion, AirPods Pro do have to take the win here in overall quality because they do offer a better music listening experience overall if you're into a lot of different genres of music when you might feel a little bit more limited when it comes to, to the Razer Hammerheads, even though the Razer Hammerheads still do a fantastic job overall. So what about noise canceling? Again, they both do a very stellar job here. These both are probably the best in years for noise canceling, but I have to give the win to Razer Hammerhead True Wireless here. The reason for that is because it is a little bit easier to hear things going on outside, especially with louder bangs like, let's say, somebody knocking on your door or anything like that if you are using the AirPods Pro which to some might actually be a bit of a plus, but if I'm going to have noise canceling on, then I do want to feel completely immersed. I don't want to hear anything that's going on outside at all, at least as little as possible. And the hammerheads block out more sound mostly because they have a tighter fit or just like a tighter seal in your ears since they just have a very good instance of passive noise isolation and active noise cancellation which i know might sound like a little bit of a mouthful but both of those in tandem do work very well together that's not to say that the airpods are bad here because they aren't at all they get very close and it is a very tight competition but the airpods just have a slightly more loose fit Hence, they let a little more noise in, I want to say. Again, this might be a plus for people who want a great seal, but don't want to be completely blocked off from the outside noise. But for someone like me who wants full immersion to be completely blocked out, I'll take the Hammerheads instead. So I would declare the Hammerheads the winners when it comes to noise canceling. And when it comes to battery life, the AirPods Pro are the immediate winners here. The Hammerheads offer up to four hours of listening with, with an additional 16 hours of charge with the case. The AirPods Pro offer about five hours, usually a little less, not quite 
four, but somewhere in between, I would say, and an additional 18 hours of charge from the charging case. So we have a total of 20 hours for the Hammerhead 2 Wireless Pro and 24 hours for the AirPods Pro, which means that, well, the numbers don't lie here. The AirPods Pro win. So in conclusion, this isn't an easy choice to make, of course. If you're on Android, then the choice is even harder. I would go with the Razer Hammerhead Street Wireless Pro in this instance. In fact, I have since the Pixel 4 is actually my primary daily driver. This is because to me, the more colorful sound is more flattering to me. The use of USB-C for charging makes these easier on me for traveling around and only needing one cable but the AirPods Pro still sound incredible on Android, and if you prefer a wider soundstage, which I tend to prefer a wider soundstage too, but I just prefer what the Hammerheads offer instead of the AirPods here. But if you do prefer a wider soundstage, then you might prefer the AirPods, but you'll need an extra cable to carry around with you. If you're on iPhone, then it is easier to say just get the AirPods Pro since there's better software in the integration here. And I would argue that more cool updates like spatial audio, which was implemented well after the initial release of the AirPods Pro, could come to the AirPods Pro and still go into a lot more untapped potential that these earbuds could be capable of. But I do have a preference to Razer's offering this time around personally, and I think that I would stick with these regardless of which platform I use. So, there's going to be my answer. And if you're interested in purchasing either one of these earbuds, then I'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to Amazon in the description. You can also use Luster in case you're interested in seeing any other types of alternatives, like the Galaxy Buds Pro, for instance, came out recently, which a lot of people do love, even though I had more of a mixed reception on those. But it is going to recommend other things like it, and and it is also going to help you find sales across the web if there are any available. So I do encourage you to get your hands on Luster. And there's also going to be Abunda, which is going to be really cool if you were looking to save a little bit of money and just finance these instead of paying for them outright. You don't need a credit card at all. It's just super simple financing. So if you want a pretty easy financing and just to take it a little bit more easy, then go with that as well. Links to everything down below. If you use any of my links, you'll be helping out the channel quite a bit. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're interested in the Tech Summit podcast that does go live twice a week. Do make sure to follow me on Twitch because I do also like to stream twice a week, usually on weekends. And there's also going to be our Discord server where you can stop by, leave any kind of feedback, ask your questions, join the community, talk to the community. Links to that down below as well as links to the rest of my social media like my Instagram and my Twitter. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.